What's going on guys, Breakman17 and welcome back to the desk. Um, today we are looking at a Kato in scale EMD F40PH in the Metro scheme. This is number 163. Um, this project received a look sound version 4 decoder and some custom lighting. So we'll start off with the lights. There's the headlight. Um, I wasn't quite able to get up to the light tube to get the Mars light on top so everything is solid. But um, I've got all the headlights in forward and then the marker lights went in reverse. And those both flip back and forth. And the headlights have a dimmer, even though all of them dim. But uh, I like how bright that is to start with. But um, this is equipped with a Loke Sound. Uh, it is the EMD 645E3 file, I believe. It's one of the full throttle files. And uh, I know a lot of people would argue with me that it needs to be an HEP file and not one of the standard 40 files. But with the new full throttle, um, they give you one of the... Uh, new functions you can do is coast and run 8, which is essentially puts it into notch 8 and leaves it there. And then you can control the speed steps from there. So it's essentially HEP mode. And then with this file, it allows you to choose whether you're an HEP with a consist or whether you're just moving uh, your train around in a yard. You can be in standard running mode. So, um, so starting off with the prime mover. So here at prime, and it starts to turn over. I did a lot of research to try and get this as close to accurate as possible uh, in terms of the bell, the horn, and then the prime mover, the way it sounds, uh, especially when it's running at full in uh, notch 8. I listened to a lot of videos trying to find the right file for having it running at notch 8, but. Um, this file is equipped with dynamic brake on function 4, but also has a low idle feature. So when you turn on function 4, you'll hear the prime mover drop to low idle. And now the uh, speed steps are locked. I cannot move from here until I bring it back out of low idle up to the standard idle again. And then with function 7, we'll run it all the way up to notch 8, but I'll get to that in a minute. So here's the bell. Horn, which is a P5. And that, that's pretty close to prototype. Um, a lot of them have P5s. I think most all of them have P5s. So. Uh, three is the compressors. Four is the low idle when not, or when not moving. And then dynamic brake when you are moving. So function 5 is curve squeal, but it only works when I'm moving, and I'll show you that one again later. 6 is spitters. So they're not as frequent, a little slower, a little more, uh, a little bit elongated compared to the other spitters. Um, 7 is, again, the um, full throttle notch 8 mode. Function 9 is the drive hold button. 10 is the independent brake. 11 is the radiator fans. 12, like I said, is the dimmer. So that's pretty much all of them. I'm going to run this uh, back a little bit and then show you the curve squeal. Um, the dynamic brakes are pretty self-explanatory, and I don't think they ever really get used on this prototype. So... So that's the curved wheel as you can hear it. Um, for the, If anybody is wondering what the drive hold button does, it holds your speed step so then I can play with the prime mover. So right now I'm holding it four speed steps and I can bring the prime mover down and it's still holding it four speed steps until I release it at nine and it comes to a stop. And you hear the brakes, uh, the air is applied there. Seven is the run eight. So I'm going to run this all the way up to notch eight and then I'll run this across the desk here.
So there you have it, guys. I'm br bringing it back out of Notch 8 down to idle, but that's pretty much it um, for the most part of the running. There's some other uh, little features and whatnot that it can be programmed in and changed, but um, that's it. Pretty easy install. Uh, toughest part just getting all the lights to set in, but I had a lot of fun with this one, and uh, I expect to have about two more later this year, so you guys will see those on the channel as soon as they come around. So thanks for watching, guys. Bregman17 out.